Hello everyone, Ken here from Farmers Insurance Salvage and Recycling coming to you live from Copart in Phoenix, Arizona. I got four vehicles I'm going to preview for you. Uh, you can see two of them behind me and the other two are hidden behind that Dodge truck. Um, that'll be my surprise, they're the ones I'm excited about. But first up, um, welcome, thanks for tuning in, we appreciate you. Bring you the best in salvage, got a jet coming over, hopefully you can still hear me. But I uh, want to show you this 2018 Audi Q7. Uh, got some front end damage on this one, so I'm going to switch the camera around here and I'll uh, go ahead and, and walk you through this one. So as you can see, front end, broomstick is not included, nor is the jump box, but the battery was dead on it, so I did have to put the jump box on. But uh, we took a front end hit. I didn't do any research, but uh, just from looking at it, it does look like maybe they hit a trailer hitch on a vehicle. and. Uh, it slid up and under and then that went into the condenser and the uh, radiator but you'll notice that this does have the D on the windshield it's a sloppy D but uh, yeah no brooms included that's right thanks we got our best in salvage social media team supporting us back there so if you have questions shout them out but you can see um, so it does have the D that means it drives now this is Copart's designation of drives which means it starts and it moves forward and backward it obviously is not drive a bull you would not want to try to take this on the road because clearly got some damage to the cooling system so the parts though are in the back so I've got the back open right now for you so you can see that that air intake and the engine cover and all your other parts have been put in the back of the vehicle so you will get those with it so you don't get the broom but you you do get the air intake uh you got the engine cover there so you just got a mishmash of parts here that are broken that probably have no value but again we're going to include them you might want some clips off them whatever but uh i'm going to go ahead and close this the jump box has been running this but they gave me a jump box with no spring on the negative side so um i may have trouble when i get in here to show you all the others but I've run it through the paces. I've started it. It does start. Uh, I've opened the sunroof and the shades and everything has been working. So if there's something you want to see on this, like I said, just go ahead and give me a holler. Just type it in there and uh, I'll do my best to feature what you want to see. So we can see it's got this amazing sunroof. Goes over the whole thing. And then it's got an electric shade that covers that and then the front part does open electronically and like i said i did run that through the paces and it did work um, we are showing 11,140 miles on the odometer and i am going to real quick start it i'm not going to leave it running long but it is running right now and you can see the uh, screen has popped up so everything i can see seems to be working yeah, way good is right. This thing is nice. So when I move out of my parents' house, this is definitely the kind of car I'm gonna get. But so, but you can hear it, that fan is rubbing. So I am not, not going to, uh, yeah, this thing is really cherry. Uh, it's one of these ones I wanna take it home. Maybe it could be in my new company car. But let me know if there's something you wanna see. We got the nice brown leather. Um, got that amazing sunroof. And it is a run and drive unit, but like I said, we're going to do some work on it before you try to drive it anywhere. Um, oh, and I did notice this does have the towing package on it, which as a boat owner, that was interesting to me. That's uh, got the five wire receiver and the two inch receiver with the five wire. Um, I didn't notice any other damage to point out. That front door sitting cockeyed, but that's just because didn't shut it all the way. So I really don't have a lot to point out aside from the very obvious damage to the front. Like I said, parts are in the rear if you just joined us. So the teardown parts are there. I will try to show you the hood. It has a sizable dent. So 2018 Audi Q7 with 11,140 miles. No, not a humble brag. It's not a, it's no, no, no. It's a Bayliner. I don't get to brag. So, but I am going to move on to our next, our next ride here. So it's an 07 Dodge Ram and yeah, you got the logo there. It's got the Cummins turbo diesel. Now what's cool about this, I always try to get an inside scoop for you. 
I want you to learn something by tuning in and looking at this face. So this truck is listed as a burn, right? And you're thinking, well, it doesn't look like a burn. And wait a minute, it's got the D here, it drives. And not only does this drive, man, this thing fired right up even after sitting in inventory a while. Well, there's your burn, okay? And I'll flip this around in a minute. It didn't burn. The vehicle next to it burnt and so it melted a little, but Copart doesn't have a category for melt, so it's listed as a burn. So uh, let me show you more about this truck, and we don't know the price yet. That's gonna be up to you. Both of these, the Audi and this, will be in our May 6th sale. That's this coming Monday, and Casey, correct me if I'm wrong back there, because um, some, uh, two of them are in May 13th, but these two, I think, are in May 6th. So let me just walk this Dodge with you because this is a nice truck. It's the dually. It's got the electronic brakes with the Reese. You can see it's got the fuel tank, storage box, the Reese hitch in the back. Said so it's got the dually. Yep, bid and win. Bring you the best in salvage right here. Does have a two inch receiver hitch with the wiring, of course, anything this big. But here's what's wrong, you know, it melted because the vehicle next to it caught fire. So sometimes when you see something listed as a burn, you might take a look. That doesn't always mean a crispy critter that's burnt to the ground. Sometimes it can just mean something like this where we've got melting. So you can see that the headlight definitely melted, dis discolored. The hood and fender have blistered and peeled away. I could not see anything on the grill melted. That doesn't mean it isn't there, but I can't see it even washing it. I can't see that it got into there. It did melt some of the hood paint, like I mentioned. Your cowl cover here, it did break the windshield. The windshield's cracked, that may not show in the photos. The mirror's clearly melted, the door, front door's melted. I thought this was cool, look what it did to that logo. It's like blistery and uh, really crazy how that reacted to the heat compared to the other logos. Um, door handles melted. The trim's melted down there, even the step on the the uh, nerf bars there. Back door handle melted. And until I washed it, I didn't notice, but there is a little bit of blistering in here. Not sure if that's gonna show too well here for you, but um, I wanna make sure you knew that. So, because in the photos, it probably looks like it stops in this back door. The yellowing kind of stops, but we still have some blistering there. So. Anybody buying a truck like this cares about the engine. So let me go ahead and start this for you so you can hear it run. And just so you know, I've had it running. It's a kind of warm day here, so I've been enjoying the AC in this. It was blowing nice and cold. But we do have the, uh, the full crew set up here with the four doors. And uh, when I get in, so the seat, somebody did get some gum or something on it. And there's a little wear. But a work truck with 118,000 miles, kind of to be expected. Oh, both keys, got both keys. Don't always get that, right? The smell of the interior, glad you asked. Well, it smells like a truck. Um, and I don't know how much more serious it can be. I don't smell, if you didn't tell me that this was quote unquote a burn, I wouldn't know it. I don't smell anything that smells burnt or melted. Um, Maybe corn nuts. Could that be corn nuts I'm smelling? I don't know. But, uh, so, oh, it's mad that I have the doors open. But uh, it's running now, as you can hear. And I was trying to get it up just so you could see. 118533 three miles on it. And uh, I'm going to pop the hood. So, um, yeah, I did mention, it does have the, uh, the electronic brakes down there with the Reese brand on it. Door's a little dirty, and it looks like they put the fuzzy side of some Velcro for a nice little armrest. A little sun fading, too. But uh, So, some people think, oh, you guys are just going to tell us all the good stuff. I, I'm going to tell you the good and bad. I want a repeat customer. I want no salvage surprises. So, that's a lot of why we do this. And you're going to have to pardon me here while I open this, because with the grill guard, it is not easy. So, pardon my camera work here. <laughs> But I did want to show you, there's the beast. There it is, 6.7 liters. And they do have the air raid. As far as damage, 
I don't see any melting inside. So it does seem that the uh, it was protected. And I'm going to shut this off just because I know they're kind of loud. So, so that's our Dodge. Ugh. Started right up even the first time I went to it. The Audi, totally dead, had to have a jump. Um, I'm noticing here, this like this is just the typical sun fading. That's nothing to do with it. Where this one clearly is the melted one. So, uh, okay. <laughs> what do I, what does Jason know? All right, so that's number two. Um, and uh, I'd, I'd rattle off these lot numbers, but uh, you guys can see them in the links that Casey's putting up there for you. Again, our salvage team's back there to answer questions and put that up for you. So then... We get into the, the ones that are really fun. So we have not one, but two of these Yamaha YXZs. Two of them for you. And these will be in the 513 sale, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there you go, Casey's right on the spot, uh, giving you the links there so you can go look at Copart's photos. But be sure to watch, I'm gonna take you around these. I will tell you these both start without a jump box. I've started them both. And I have driven them both today. Both of them drive. I will not drive them on camera because obviously there's a little bit of a safety concern. But let's take a look at these. Uh, we have a 2016 and a 2017. So this first one is your 2016. And this one is your 2017. Your 2016 has a stick shift with three pedals. Your 2017 is a paddle shifter. So that's one of the big differences between these two. So. Uh, they're both the 1000cc models and these things are just crazy fast and crazy fun. These are both listed as rollovers, I believe. Um, and you can see, I'll start with the 2016. You can see it is scratched there on the plastics. Um, but looking pretty much intact. If you really look, you can tell that the passenger front, the right front of the roll cage is bent a little bit. Well, and a little bit is a relative term. so. You know, do your own assessment, but you can see that this is definitely damaged in here. This has been pushed in a bit, um, but the roof isn't way down like it is on the 2017. So that's kind of what I'm getting at there. As always, come check these out yourself um, and, and make sure you're, you're not gonna be surprised. We want no salvage surprises. Again, we'd rather go with full disclosure. Uh, we do have scratches in the plastic, so it does look like this thing rolled all the way over came over took the brunt of the impact right here on the a pillar and then went the rest of the way over um, also something that you may not notice if you really look at the driver's front um, the camber is off there so I'm not I haven't really diagnosed the suspension but you can definitely see that this tire is not sitting straight so something in here is bent it appears it might be the upper a arm there might have a little bit of more bend than it should but be aware that while this does run and drive, and I used it, I drove it up to get it rinsed off and drove it to pick up the jump uh, jump box for the Audi, had no problems at all. Uh, it's got the five point harnesses, of course, the neoprene seats. And then like I mentioned, it does start right up. Goes through its cycles and we have 2,663 miles on the odometer. And I am gonna rev it, but again, it's already warm. Uh, it doesn't have a temp gauge, but we're, we're not just revving a cold engine for those of you that might think, geez, what are they doing? But yeah, this thing's ready to go. So uh, there you have it. That is our 2016 Yamaha YXZ. So turn the gauges back on, let you see. So 2663 on the odometer. Uh, it does have the Rockford Fosgate stereo in it. Uh, and the speakers are down at each of the footwells. We got the speakers added in there. And then this is what I love about this one. It's a three peddler, three pedals. So I got in a bit of a debate with my friends the other day because I told them how awesome these things were. Because, you know, I see a lot of these come through the sales. 
and they were saying, oh, but you have to shift. It's so much work when you're on a trail ride. Uh, we don't know the price. Hey, thanks for asking, Ramon, but uh, it's gonna go in auction on May 13th, and uh, it may be awarded to the highest bidder, so be sure to get your bid in. But what I was saying, my friends and I had a debate on these because I think these things are just amazing. Super fun, the way it shifts just like a motorcycle in there, but you get to use the clutch and everything. And he was whining that when you're on a trail ride, it's too much work and your leg gets tired. And I'm like, well then take the road, get in your BMW or your, your Lexus and drive on a highway if you don't want to go out and have fun. But if you're ready to have fun, I don't know how you can beat these YXEs. I love that they're not an automatic. So, but, on the 2017, I'm gonna shift over. That was the 2016. We're gonna, the 2016 there. And then their 2017 model. This one's got the storage compartment added in the back. It's the 1000cc model. And as I mentioned on this one, you're gonna have the paddle shifter instead. So you don't get the three pedals, but you still get the fun of shifting, feeling like you're driving. So this one you can see took a much harder hit to the roll cage and you can see how much that's pushed down. You kind of have to duck down and uh, to really get a look at it. But what a beautiful machine. The bead locks look like they may be decorative. I couldn't tell. Uh, those might be real if someone else knows more about it, but they look nice on there. I couldn't tell if they were actual bead locks though. Uh, I do want to mention I did have to put air in a few of the tires on both of these so they're they're leaking a little and this uh, right front shock has clearly lost some of its oil so that's something else you'll want to look at on this one but the roll cage is obviously your your big damage here and you can see on the driver's side how far it's it's been pushed down in bows and then the door doesn't shut so we've got some some frame issues, some stuff's been bent and out of kilter. If I remember correct, the passenger doesn't, no, nope, passenger isn't lining up either. So we definitely have some frame damage that's gonna need to be fixed, but it is a run and drive. Again, means it starts and goes forward and backwards, but I'll tell you that I put air in the tires and then took it up and washed it. So this one has been driven. It does start under its own power. So, uh, and there you go. This one has 3,367 miles on it, 354 hours. So, and again, the engine was warm. I'm not doing that to a cold engine. Have no fear. We like our salvage. <laughs> we want to take good care of it for y'all. But how much fun would this thing be on the trail? You can find out on May 13th, bid in. So we do have some scratches. I don't even think these are from the accident. I think that's just uh, what we call desert pinstriping out here. Uh, just going down, down the trails and rubbing a little on some of the bushes and branches. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else you'd wanna see. If you guys have questions, let me know. But this is your 2017 Yamaha YXZ. And then you add your 2016. And again, Casey's put up the lot number, so I'm not gonna take the time to read them to you. If you have questions, I'll answer them. If not, I think I might shut this one off real quick. But uh, it is running right now. They both run and drive and start. I didn't even ever look in here. Hopefully there's not like a body. This is like Al Capone's tomb. Oh, it's just empty. A Little bit of storage area. So, um, there you have it. Those are your uh, four features live from Phoenix today. You have your 2017 Yamaha YXE, your 2016, your 07 Dodge Ram, quote unquote, burn, can you? Can I finger quote this way? Uh, that's your burn, and then your uh, Audi Q7, 2018 Q7. So all of these selections are running drives. Uh, the Dodge is probably the only one that I think you know, you'd drive home. These other ones you could have on the trail, but they definitely need some attention and repairs. So without further ado, and I don't see any other questions coming in. This is Ken. Oh, I didn't shut it off like I said I was gonna. It's still, still running in the background. Um, this is Ken with Farmers Insurance Salvage and Recycling, bringing you the best in salvage. 
No salvage surprises. Tried to tell you everything I could. Get you inside scoop on these awesome, awesome vehicles. Uh, if you're not registered as a bidder, you can't bid. So go on to uh, copart.com slash farmers and set up your account today. It's free to get a membership. And that's the first step to bidding on all these great cars. Uh, if you see something you want featured that's in our inventory, let me know. We'll try to get it as one of our future feeds or just get an extra video and photos and we can post those on social media for you. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, join us in a minute on Instagram. We'll do it again. Thank you and have a great day.